So today's video is going to be a foundation wear test. And I know I have been testing out so many foundations recently. I am so I'm sorry, there's just so many. But for today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually gonna be battling out two foundations against each other. I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted to see this and so many people were like, yes. So if you don't know, Hourglass just recently launched their brand new foundation. This is the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Now I was really excited when I saw this because if you know me, you know that the Vanish Foundation Stick is one of my favorite foundations of all time. This and the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick are the top two best foundation sticks I have ever used, at least in my opinion. This foundation is incredible. So, with that being said, I have high, high hopes. I hope it's just as good. It has the same name. I would assume it's kind of similar. I did buy this, by the way, but they sent it to me in PR. They sent me like three shades. I didn't know if they were gonna send it to me or not, so I just bought it anyway. But the one I purchased hasn't gotten here yet, so I'm gonna use the one they sent me in PR. And it came with this little thing, and it says it's full coverage. It has a natural finish, 24 hour wear. We're not gonna, we're not gonna test it for 24 hours. What time is it? It's 12.14 p.m. I was hoping to film this like at nine. Anyway. It comes in 32 shades. It says you only need about half a pump. And um, I don't know, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna do half my face with the stick and then half of my face with the liquid. Now, I just wanna mention, these are two totally different shades. And the crazy part is that they sent me Warm Ivory, which this is my shade, this is my summer shade. In the winter, I'm the shade Bisque. Um, or buff. Is this buff? Yeah, buff. I just honestly mix them all together. I always have three shades with me in this stick. And tell me how. When I opened my foundation drawer, I only had buff. Did I declutter Warm Ivory and Bisque? Honestly, if I did, I am shocked because this is like my favorite foundation, so it doesn't make any sense. I think I, think I lost two foundations, guys. How do you lose foundations? I don't know, I'm, I, ha I have a whole conspiracy theory against this house. I really think this house is swallowing my stuff. You guys know, you guys know. How often do I lose things? And I know I'm an air sign, but it, it's getting it's getting a little too suspicious to be honest. So the only shade I had on hand was buff and this is warm ivory and they're not the same color. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. Hopefully they kind of blend in a little bit. Hopefully it's not a disaster, but you are on the Kathleen Lights channel. So you never know over here. I'm going to start by priming my skin with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It does say on this little thing, no primer needed. Okay, so in my little PR box, they did send the Hourglass uh, foundation brush that they recommend you use with the stick and the liquid. And it really does work. I love this brush, but it's expensive. And I know a lot of us are not really gonna buy this brush just to use it for this foundation. I'm sure most of you guys are just gonna use whatever you have at home. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use the same brush on both sides just so we can be even and fair. But I'm going in with my It Cosmetics Love Is The Foundation brush. This is the best foundation brush of all time. It's like an Ulta exclusive and It Cosmetics always releases one every October for breast cancer awareness. So if it comes back next October, you need it. October, it's the best brush ever. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Buff. Can you tell I love this foundation? <laughs> And I'm just gonna dot some of that on my face. I always go in with a little bit more after, but I do always start off slow. This foundation is very pigmented and it has good coverage. A little goes a long way. It just buffs into the skin. It's beautiful. I probably should have done the liquid first, just so you can see it in comparison to my skin, like without foundation at all. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I may be starting things off a little rough this year, but I'm, I'm gonna get it. Would you believe me if I told you I've been staring at these brushes for like 45 seconds right now, wondering which one I just used on my face? I guess I could just play back my video, but since I'm lazy, I'm just gonna use another Love is a Foundation brush on this side. <laughs> okay, so now let's go in with the Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation, and I'm going in with the shade Warm Ivory. Yeah, it's a bit dark, it's a bit dark, oh boy. But, but it's okay, I will blend that down my neck, if anything. Okay, immediately, I could already tell, this has more coverage than the stick. It did say to dot this all over your face. It's a little too late for that, I guess. Wow, the color isn't too bad. 
Like obviously this side is just slightly lighter, but you can't really see the divide too much. I am gonna be using the liquid on my nose and in between my brows, cause you know, this is what we're testing. And I already know the stick is fabulous porter. Simmer down. Okay, so because this is a pump and this is a stick, I can't really tell which one I used more of, but I do think this foundation has just a tad bit more coverage. Um, maybe I used more, so I can't really say, and I know that if I build this up, I can get super full coverage, so I guess it really does depend on how much you apply. But now that I'm looking at my skin up close and I'm comparing both sides, they look very, very similar. The only difference I see so far is that I have a little bit more cakiness around my nose on this side, and my pores seem to be a little bit more visible on this side as well. Like it seems just this much heavier on this side, and that's just me being really critical and really picky and really comparing them. I'm not even sure if you can see what I mean on camera, but it does just seem a little bit more makeup-y on this side, and that could be that I applied more, but I honestly did do half a pump, but I, I did half a pump for half my face. This says you can use half a pump on your entire face. I used it on one half of my face, so I don't know if that really does make a difference, but I feel like I applied a lot of the stick as well, and this side still looks just this much heavier. I also am noticing a little bit of heaviness in between my brows, but it's really minimal. I'm not sure if you could even tell. My smile line on this side is deeper than this side, but I just have a really deep line on this side and a not so deep line on this side. So just in case you're looking and you're like, oh, but your smile line is intense on this side. That's just my face. That's just my face. I'm getting older quicker on this side. They both appear to have a satin finish to the skin. You can see like when I turn my head, my moisturizer is kind of peeking through a little bit on both sides. Also, if, and I don't know if anybody cares about this, I always mention it in my videos, but I feel like no one gives a crap. But just in case you do, because I'm one of those people that do, when I touch my face on this side, this side does feel tackier than this side. So the concealer I'm gonna be using today is my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Creme Cafe. I'm using this one because this is like my holy grail concealer, and I wanna use something that I know I love. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this foundation brush for my concealer. It's such a nice size. I feel like this is good for foundation or concealer, which good because it's expensive. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this. I don't wanna overdo it. I wanna make sure I'm really testing out the foundation. I like to apply concealer down my T-zone, but I'm not gonna do that for today's video just so we can really test out the foundation in those areas. So I'm gonna set my concealer with the Veil Translucent Setting Powder, also from Hourglass. I thought it was appropriate to use. And now I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. My mom has truly traumatized me. Every time I catch myself not wearing earrings, I'm like, <laughs> she used to get so crazy about my earrings. I told that thing. Damn Cubans, I swear. I just finished up my makeup and oh, I always do my eyes before I do my foundation, especially when I'm working with glitter. And especially if I'm working with glitter without a glitter primer. I lightly grabbed my finger, lightly, and tapped it into the lion pigment and with nothing on my lids, I didn't put any uh, glitter glue, which I recommend with these pigments. I went in and lightly dusted all the glitter that was on my finger because I only, I barely tapped the pigment. And I just added a very, very, very minimal soft sparkle to the lid because I think it looks so pretty in the sun. Like if you're outside and you have this barely there shimmer on your lids, it's so pretty. But since I didn't use any glitter glue, some little glitters did fall on my face. And I have, I have just, couple little sparkles, couple little dots on my face. But besides that, this is what I've got going on my face. And I would love to know what you guys think. They both look so similar. Both sides look almost the same to me, only this side does seem to appear a little bit warmer, but that's probably because of the foundation shade. The stick side does look a little bit more natural than the liquid side, but I already told you guys that. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to feel right now. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, clearly they have the same name. If it was a different type of foundation, they would have named it something else. So I knew going into this that they were going to be similar, of course, but I thought at this point I would have more to say, <laughs> but I don't. Both sides look pretty good. I feel like foundation reviews are really hard for that reason because foundation is so personal and it, de and it just depends on your skin. But I'm gonna wear this throughout the day, give you a check-in or two, and then come back at the end of the night and let you know what my final verdict is. So stay tuned.
Hey guys, I'm doing my quick little check-ins on my phone because I have this weird filter on my vlogging camera and I know a ton of you guys have taught me how to take it off, but I actually just bought a brand new vlogging camera that I wanna start using, but I need to teach myself how to use it first. So hopefully I will need to do this on my phone much longer, but I've been wearing this foundation for about three hours now and this is what it looks like. I just finished eating lunch. It was like a late lunch, but I had like a big juicy bean burger and every time I would take a bite, I would like smear my burger all over my chin and my lip. So I have a little bit of like uh, lipstick here and the foundation has rubbed off a bit on my chin. I still have the same opinion. Both sides look pretty similar. Okay, babe, do me a favor. What's up? Okay, right now I'm wearing two different foundations on my face. I'm wearing one on this side and then one on this side. Okay. What side looks better to you? What side looks better? Mm -hmm. Like what side does my skin look better on? Uh... I would say the right. My right? My right, so your left. Oh, my left? Yeah. I feel that way too. What yeah. makes you say that? Huh? What makes you say that? Um, I don't know. I can see more like like little specks, like little bumps. Not bumps. Bumps, but like, like it's emphasizing my texture more on my skin? I don't, I don't know. You want to word it? Uh, I can just see more like, I don't know. Like don't it looks know. more foundation-y? Like this looks more natural. Yes. Right, right, yeah. yeah. I feel the same way, I feel the same way. Yeah. See? But they look very similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I mean, you I you really color. have to look for the difference, but it's there. Hello, I've had my makeup on for about five hours now. I don't know why I'm talking like that, but I just want to show you my face. This is the stick side, and this is the liquid side. Does it look exactly the same? <laughs> Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Hello! Where's my phone? It is currently 10.35 p.m. Oh my gosh, I don't remember when I finished my makeup. Do you guys It was like 1. Was it like 1 p.m.? Something like that. I've had my makeup on for about 9 hours now. And by the way, I want to mention, I always look a little bit dewier than normal at the end of these foundation videos because my Smashbox primerizer always keeps me very dewy throughout the day. But for some reason, Today, I look extra dewy. What is it? Because I wear this foundation all the time. But I just feel like I look extra dewy today. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know it's my primer, but I feel like it's more than huge. Okay, let's take a look at this face. Honestly, my opinion hasn't changed. Both sides look incredibly similar, but if you look up close and you really analyze my face, my left side personally just looks a little bit better. My texture is peeking through just a little bit more on this side, and it looks just slightly heavier. I also feel that way a little bit around my nose and in between my brows here. It just looks slightly more foundation-y than this side. If I had to choose which one I recommend, I say go with the OG. Honestly, I feel like if they were gonna work on a different foundation, they should have named it something else. You just can't fix what's not broken, you know what I mean? And I know that foundation naturally sinks into my smile lines, but I noticed right here in this area, it was just looking a little bit drier than this side. The area around my nose just felt a little bit more flaky. Even though this foundation does come with less product, it's $10 cheaper, and I personally think it's better. This is already a $46 foundation, which makes it expensive, because you don't even get a full ounce in here, and you almost get a full ounce in this guy, so it's like right there, but it's $56. I would say this is better for those of you with maybe like normal to oily skin. I don't know if you have really oily skin, how you would like it, but personally, in my opinion, if you have very dry skin like me, I think it is a little bit too makeup-y and not as hydrating, but that's just my personal opinion and that's pretty much all I have to say. That completes this video. I'm sorry about the back-to-back -back foundation videos. Let me know if you wanna see a get ready with me using a bunch of new drugstore makeup. I have so many new things. Wet n Wild just sent me their foundation stick, which I won't do a dedicated foundation review on that or anything, but I wanna do like a full get ready with me, tell you guys about the new drugstore makeup, things I'm loving, stuff like that. Let me know if that's something you wanna see. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. I will see you on Friday with my monthly favorites. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We're growing when we're sleeping, and even when we play, and as we grow a little taller, we can do more things because I'm growing, and so are you. And I don't really no notice, oh, I had a burp. <laughs> Sorry about that. We grow a little taller, a little bigger, we're smaller. We grow a little friendlier too.